the screencast for the M&M spreadsheet activity part two. So we're going to go ahead and look at step one. Step one says open your spreadsheet from M&M activity part one. This part is very confusing to students in the past. They think that part two means you open up a brand new spreadsheet. Do not open up a brand new spreadsheet. Excuse me. Go to your drive and open up your spreadsheet from the day before. So I'm going to find mine real quick. Here it is. So you should open up and you should see your individual data and your pie chart. Okay, so that was step one. Now, step two says open the class data spreadsheet by clicking here. You will need to select all of the data and copy it. At the beginning of class, we're all going to enter in our class data into a spreadsheet. So at, after you click where it says click here, this will appear. You need to go to the up to cell A2. Well, actually, you can go ahead and grab the labels as well. Go ahead and click in cell A1. Click and drag. Notice I'm highlighting all of the data. So you can see kind of a pale color over that. I let go. Again, you can see the blue outline to show what exactly I have selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C on my keyboard to copy. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. And I am going to insert a new sheet at the bottom. So if you look at the bottom left with a little plus sign, if you hover over it, it says Add Sheet. Go ahead and click that. And then up in cell A1, you're going to go ahead and hit, it's already highlighted. If it's not, click that because that's where you want your upper left-hand corner of what you copied to go. And you're going to go ahead and hit Control-V. So there is the data. Okay, if we go back to the instructions, now it says, we just did step three. It says, paste the class data in the new sheet within your current spreadsheet, and then it tells you how to do that. So we just completed step three. Step four says, find the following using the functions tool. Organize this data on a separate part of the spreadsheet. So first you're going to find the total number of M&Ms for the entire class. So if I go back to my spreadsheet, I'm going to click, remember I don't want to click the labels because the Google Sheets cannot add up words. So you click the 13, click and drag, you highlight all of the, the numbers that you want to add up. And if you'll recall from yesterday, you're going to go up to functions, and you're going to hit sum, and here it's saying you want us to add up cells A2 through F13. You're going to go ahead and hit enter. All right, so the total number of M&Ms for the class was 665. At this point, I'm going to move this to a different part of the spreadsheet. Otherwise, when we go to do different functions, it's going to get in the way. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit Control X. Control X cuts. So it's going to move it from one place to another. Now let's just say I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to write grand total and in this cell I'm going to hit control V so I cut it from here and pasted it here again if you want to mess with the size of your cells if you'll recall from yesterday you click up here to highlight your entire document and then in between A and B you can make them longer and in between 1 and 2 when you get the arrows going in either direction you can make them wider just makes it easier to see. Okay, so we found the total number of M&Ms for the entire class. Now we're going to find the minimum amount of blue. So if we go back to our spreadsheet, we're just going to highlight the numbers in the blue column. We're going to go over to functions. We're going to select minimum, and then you're going to hit enter. So the minimum amount of blues for the class was six. Again, I'm just going to click this. I'm going to hit Control X to cut it. I'm going to write min for minimum. Click here and hit Control V to paste. Then you're going to find 
the maximum amount of M&Ms, of all of the M&Ms, I'm not going to do that one for you because you should know how to do that by now, and then you're going to find the average number of the total amount of M&Ms. Again, you should know how to do that. Highlight all the numbers and then use the functions icon and then move them over to another part of the chart. Now, step five says, find the sums of each of the individual colors by highlighting the data and using the function options. Okay, so we've got to figure out how many of each color we have. We have to do this one by one. So we're going to highlight the blue column. We're going to go over to functions. You're going to hit sum, and you're going to hit enter. Now, you can leave these totals here. And you're going to do the same for red. Remember, do not grab the label red. Only grab the numbers. Function, sum, enter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this real quick.
when you're ready to turn in the assignment, it's pretty much the same exact way that you turn in a Google Doc. You're going to go up to the right-hand corner where it says Share. Notice when I hover over it, it tells me what setting I'm in. So right now I'm in the private mode, so I have to change that. So I'm going to click Share. Right here where it says Private, I want to change that. This should be looking familiar to you. You're going to select anyone with the link, and you're going to hit Save. Now this link and the link at the top of the in the in the address bar are the same, but this one's already highlighted for you. So you simply hit Control C. Then you go into Edmodo. And let me log into my student account. Okay, so then you're going to go find the assignment. go in through your progress or you can just go from the main wall here and hit turn in and then of course type your thoughts on the assignment rate it choosing your little emoji con here and then this is where you click link and this is where you will paste that link by hitting control V hit attach it's retrieving the web page title there it is go ahead and hit attach again it's there and then make sure you hit turn in assignment. At that point, you are done with the second part of the Google Docs assignment. And once you turn in this sheet, you only have to turn in this. The one link contains all three parts. So I will be grading part one and part two together. You don't have to turn them in separately. The one link again to the spreadsheet contains all three of these sheets.